Are avocados healthy? Is my shirt too tight? Is my hair completely crazy? Of course they are. Hold on a second. Are you sure about that? First, we have to dispel the most commonly accepted fact that is actually a myth. Most people thinking fruits and veggies are good for you. Now, are fruits and vegetables minimally inflammatory? Usually, yes. But the forms of vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids, the nutrients in these plant foods are not available to the human body as the animal versions are. Paper value does not mean it is absorbed in your body. Plugging your numbers into a nutrient database, aka chronometer warriors, does not mean squat. Vegans love to do this. I mean, even though avocado looks excellent on paper. You know, theoretically, it has vitamin A in its plant form, beta carotene, decent amounts of B vitamins, vitamin D, vitamin E, even vitamin K. But the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K in that plant form aren't bioavailable. Uh, so we can only really consider the reasonable amount of vitamin B9 as folate. There are quite a few articles talking about the carotenoids in avocados being good for you, lutein and zeaxanthin, but those are only precursors to the animal form retinol. When you compare an avocado to a chicken egg, it becomes pretty obvious what the better choice is from a nutrient density perspective. Moving on to minerals and elements, some electrolyte minerals are present, especially potassium, some magnesium. For the elements, we only really have copper and a bit of manganese, everything else being relatively insignificant. The omega fatty acid ratio is favoring linoleic, which is omega-6, and that's bad considering most people's diets are far too high in omega-6. But since avocados are mostly monounsaturated oleic acid and omega-9 fat, this isn't too much of an issue. After these considerations, the only things we can really say about avocados from a positive perspective are that they have some vitamin B9 folate and that they can be used as a source of caloric energy as the fatty acid ratio is favorable. But what about the anti-nutrients, those compounds that many carnivores fearmonger you into choking down feedlot beef? The two common culprits are oxalates and phytates, which mainly inhibit mineral absorption not really too bad on an inflammation standpoint. Avocados are relatively low in oxalates, so no concern on that front. And even if avocados did contain a small amount of phytates, they are incredibly high in phytase, which is an enzyme that breaks down said phytic acid. Uh, so no concern for the most common anti-nutrients. Avocados are, however, high in salicylates, a chemical that plants use to protect themselves, but it's not a considerable amount compared to aspirin or you know, many pharmaceutical drugs. Uh, they are also high in histamine. Again, not a problem for most people, but with a histamine overload or sensitivity, you definitely want to avoid avocados. Overarching to all of these things are the agrochemicals, the herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, used to grow these crops. This is a concern with any food, especially fruits and vegetables, especially when they aren't organic. This is the reason we want local meat and organic produce so you aren't sucking down estrogenic atrazine and poisonous glyphosate like 99.9% .9 of Americans. A lot of you might have questions about avocado oil and the same principles apply. I know some avocado oil is made with just the flesh of the fruit, no skins or seeds, as that will reduce potential anti-nutrients that are highly concentrated in said skins and seeds. If the oil is cold press, it's a decent choice, you know, especially considering that avocado oil is relatively low in linoleic acid compared to other vegetable oils. Uh, would I cook with it? Probably not. Uh, it's hard to deny that avocados are one of the healthiest plant foods after considering all of these things. Barring you don't have any allergic reactions and they weren't sprayed with agrochemicals. The unfortunate reality is that organic avocados aren't usually available and even if they are, they tend to be prohibitively expensive. Organic cold pressed avocado oil may be more available, but it still ain't cheap. And you vegans out there, don't really care about the slaves, the low paid workers, the migrant workers that are being used to pick your avocados and how corrupt the whole industry is in general. So those are definitely some other factors to consider. So thank you guys for joining me. 
If you enjoy this, please like the video. Uh, definitely subscribe, hit that bell icon, and above all, guys, please share the video. And if you can't do that, just visit my YouTube page every day. Uh, if you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. We don't have avocados, but we have high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you are interested in a health consultation or my carnivore course, go to frank-stefano.com. I also have a free guide on the five mistakes you might be making on carnivore, so definitely go sign up for that. Thank you guys for joining me today and enjoy your weekend.